Hey guys, I'm back from the fog and I brought tacos. Who's hungry? Hey, how do your belief systems even work? They're all true, especially the contradictory ones. They're double true. It's Asexual Awareness Week. I need all of you to be extra aware of me this week. Witness me. Witness me! Witness me! Witness! Oh, vampires can't walk into people's houses without being invited. Well, neither can I. It's road. I call and three my way into this, and I will call and three my way out of it, so help me God! Boo skimps. Reader be weeder. You're in for a skeeter. Do -do 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 -do. One time I dreamt I was talking to a bunch of people, and when I asked one girl for her name, everyone went really silent. Then she whipped out her phone and explained how she sold it online for bitcoins, like an NFT. Fairies are really keeping up with the times, I see. I'm like the Joker, in the sense that I tell jokes sometimes. Gotcha. Ariana Grande just brought back the black hoodie trend. Little Nas X just brought back digital watches. Okay, well, I just brought back my wife from the dead. Did, did she come back normal? Oh my god, you can't just ask someone if their wife came back normal. I'll take that as a no. Sadly pawing at the Discord app icon. The little gay people. They're all trapped in there. Let them out. Currently writing a comedy for a time-traveling organization, and my first thought was that the government outlawed time travel, but also funded the organization in order to fix the rampant time-traveling crime lords. The time-traveling organization has one member that actually follows regulations. The clothes maker. Ah, priorities. I hope every writer who sees this writes loads the next few months. Like free time opens up, no writer's block, the ability to focus, etc, etc. You're able to write loads and make lots of progress. Thank you, glitchy writer boy. I think people often underestimate the potential educational value of senseless memes. For example, thanks to Spider's George, literally every teenager on Tumblr has a reasonable grasp of what a statistical outlier is and the sorts of problems that outliers can introduce into a naive analysis. There are grown adults who don't get that. I deal with them on a daily basis. Memes have educational value is actually statistical error. Average memes teach zero facts. Spider's George is an outlier and should not be counted. Ah, now we're learning about irony and recursion. Good. Women are pretty. And men are nice too, I guess. <gasps> really? Tumblr, Grinder. Do the gays not like the letter E for some reason? Yeah, it's LGBT, not like bet. Today's genders are Long Furby. I released the frogs in the White House and now I'm wanted in 30 states. Eldritch Horror, the incarnation of chaos, and soup. <sighs> Finally, the incarnation of chaos, my gender. Do you think truckers realize that they're dentists out of highways? <sighs> Explain? No one likes semi-tractor trailers, 16-wheelers, no one likes being near them, and they terrify like 50% of the population. Just the idea of having to be in their vicinity fills people with dread even though what they do is essential in our lives. This is the first time I've seen this post with the explanation included. What the fuck? It's not a shit post! Oh no. I'm thinking... Again? <laughs>